you know, it's very difficult when you're reading um, some versions of history because you can read a lot of versions of history that treat the Lee Harvey Oswald lone assassin story as if it's plausible. You can read a lot of versions of that. Well, you go, oh, yeah, I guess so. But then you'll read, you know, David Lifton's book, Best Evidence, and you'll be like, there's no fucking way. They killed him. They killed him. They killed him. They fucking Let's killed him. Let's just get him. that out of way. They killed him. They didn't just kill him, Joey. For sure, someone in the CIA had something to do with it because of Jolly West's involvement. Jolly West was the guy that was the head of NK Ultra. He was the guy that dosed up um, Manson, and he, they ran the um, Hate ashbury Free Clinic. The CIA ran a free clinic in San Francisco for fucking decades. And then they ran Operation Midnight Climax, where they would dose up Johns with acid. These guys would go into brothels. They'd dose them up. They'd think they'd go to have sex, and the, the woman would give them a drink, and they're drinking acid. And they just get dosed up, and then they'd study these guys. They did some wild, freaky shit. And one of the things that he did when he got, when Jack Ruby shot Lee Harvey Oswald, he went to visit Jack Ruby in prison. And from that moment on, Jack Ruby lost his fucking mind. He was hiding underneath the bed, saying the Jews are being incinerated, they're coming to kill us all. He was tripping balls. I think they just dosed that guy into a fucking coma. And then after they dosed him into a coma, they gave him cancer. And he was dead like within a year. Wow. And they're all, it's all connected. It's all connected. And the, the idea that no one was involved in that assassination other than Lee Harvey Oswald, that doesn't make Bullshit. any sense. Even if Lee Harvey Oswald was the only one who pulled the trigger, even if that, Lee Harvey Oswald was traveling back and forth to Russia. He lived in Russia. He's married to a Russian woman. Like, the fact that this is in the middle of the Cold War, they're not investigating this guy. They're not... Get the fuck out of here. I think he was a here. patsy, bro. I, I think, think they patsy. set him up from A to Z. Yep. Somebody was giving him money, letting him know. It's interesting because when, listen, you don't want to base yourself on stupid things, but remember that speech that that dude gave Kevin Costner? Which one? In JFK. Yes. What was the guy's name? He was. In, he's the guy. That, Donald Sutherland. Donald Sutherland. The guy from Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The guy, that motherfucker got offered a deal for Animal House. He would have been like eleven million dollars. He took the ten thousand dollar one payment. Really? Yeah, I read that somewhere. I wow. still love Donald Sutherland. Donald, Donald, Donald Sutherland was a bad motherfucker. But that speech he Kiefer gave. Kiefer Sutherland's dad. Kiefer Sutherland. How they already had information on. He goes, that guy got shot, and within ten minutes, they already had a whole background on this guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and then he showed him the newspapers. How could the paper come out in Brussels? But I don't remember the whole thing. But all that made a lot of fucking sense. Yeah, newspapers were already reporting stories on him. On him, yeah. On him, who he was, what his background was. Yeah, I think he was a patsy. And a, a very interesting thing. I started, listen, you know when people tell you to watch a show? Yeah. And you're like, I don't want to watch that fucking show. Every people, day. But people tell you constantly, watch that show, watch that show. I've recently put on a show, I didn't know what to expect, Joe Rogan. Un-fucking real. What is it? Godfather of Harlem. Ooh, what's that? Not about... It's haven't heard anything. Not about what you think. It's that dude that played uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, the brother that goes after Sean Penn, the big dude, Forrest Whitaker, the okay. fucking great actor, uh, Nigel Thatch. Is it already on season three? Is yeah. Prequel to American Gangster? I think I just... Oh. This show... Mixed... So it's about that guy that Denzel yeah. Washington played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So this show, but it's oh. not what you... I don't want you to think, oh, Joey showed up here with the... This show, first of all, the first season, basically about Muhammad Ali in Harlem. How he hooked up with, uh, what's his name? Ma uh, K, Ma mm. Malcolm X. And they already told him, listen, you are gonna, you, your name is Muhammad Ali, but we're not going to change it till you win the championship, the title, because you will lose the, the white sponsors, the white devil and all this shit. Mm. He was already with them. But not only that story, it talks about civil rights. It goes to when they shot Kennedy, what they saw, like in Chicago, how they knew for sure it was the mob and the CIA that killed Kennedy. They talk about how when Malcolm X was going to meet, I didn't know about this, he was going to do a speech at the, at the United Nations with Che Guevara. 
Malcolm X. Really? In 1965. They were going fucking nuts. And it all ties in because, what, and they, and they kind of explained in the beginning, you have to tie a gangster in with political because then he blows up that pilot. Something really interesting. You know I'm a fucking moron. I can't say this. <laughs> and that's what they try to show you, that all these gangsters had something to do with this history. Yeah. The guy who played, that fucking dude that blows his head off in Full Metal Jacket. Mm. What's his name? Vincent D'Onofrio. Vincent D'Onofrio. He plays a Vito Genovese that your really? fucking head will blow up. Really? Something completely different. I like how he cast it. I like the way he cast it. He cast it outside the box, again, mm. like Tony Soprano was casted. Mm. Well, that, but Vito, the guy that plays Vito and he's very political in this. And that guy, Giancarlo Esposito, who's a fucking G, he plays a congressman. And he's always meeting with presidents, but Bumpy's wife works for him. Mm. So it's very interesting. How What's it on? So it's MGM uh, Hulu, Plus? Hulu, Hulu, the first two seasons, and MGM Plus, the what last MGM season. Plus? What MGM is that? Plus is like... Is that a new one? It's like Paramount There's Plus. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. You know, at the end of the week, you pay for so many. But it's an interesting show. You know, mm. that's the most interesting show. I You learn something. It's not about shooting and just heroin. It's all this little... You know, the Cuban dude, how all he wanted, battle that dude that we talked about with T.J. English, all he wanted, he was selling coke just to take mm. Cuba back. Mm. Like, that guy was, can you imagine you coming to me going, Joey, we're going to do this, 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 but, the, <clears throat> but the, the fucking final result of this money is me going back to Palermo to take my grandfather's village back. This is what that battle dude was into. He just wanted to go back to Cuba. Mm. That's it. I don't want no problems. I just want to kill Fidel and go back to Cuba. So they tried, they, they get with the CIA and they show how many times they tried to kill Operation Mongoose, the fucking wetsuits, the fucking cigar that explodes. All those were failed CIA attacks. How many times they try to kill Castro? Watch that documentary 101 times. That's remember, so crazy. remember when that motherfucker walked on the subway in New York? Remember he came to the U.N. Yeah. and he walked on, that's what they show in that. He walked on the subway in New York and the guy goes, you got a bulletproof vest and he lowers it. And he goes, I got nothing on. Wow. 101 Ways to Kill Castro. Wasn't that the name of the documentary? I don't know. Forrest Whitaker's a fucking great actor, isn't he? Forrest okay. Whitaker was in The Color of Money. He played the guy that yes. hustled fast Eddie yes. Felson. Yes, yes. Remember he Is has that like you his, mad? Yes. <laughs> 638... He hustles him out of all this money, and at the end he goes, can I ask you a serious question? Do you think I should lose some weight? 